But look at that crazy force of nature, guys. Whoa, isn't that cool? Hey guys, we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. Please subscribe. What's up, my boy high squad? How are you doing? Did you sleep well? I hope so. Guys, welcome to another vlog. If you're new, my name is Mikey Bustos, and we are here in Niagara Falls, Canada. Yes, OMG. Um, if you've been following these past few vlogs, we're here kind of on vacation, just going around Canada. We hit Montreal, Toronto, and we've even been to New Jersey and New York. Um, but I am so happy to be here in Niagara Falls, just an hour and a half outside of Toronto. And now we're gonna go around, check things out. Welcome to another vlog, guys. So I'm here with my family. They're all here. There's Maria, there's RJ, Nika, there's Raf. Hi, Raf, my nephew. Um, and we're here at a place called Bird Kingdom. Guys, I'm so excited because I've been seeing videos of this place um, online since pandemic. And I've been wanting to see it. It's basically a huge aviary. And if you guys know, we're building a huge aviary at our house in, uh, in the Philippines. And we have a, a big aviary also uh, in the middle of our home. So I wanted to get some inspiration and see how they do it. Oh, you guys, I'm so excited. Let's go in. Okay, from what I, the videos I saw on YouTube, there's like a small bird section, and then there's like a big, huge section. Is that right, Maria? Yeah. And there's their like little touristy things. Niagara Falls tourist attractions. Oh my gosh, there's a voice coming from this tree. You see? Oh. Oh, there's a story. Yeah, there's stories. Okay. All right, here's the start. Niagara Falls Museum, start here. What? Okay, so they've like tied it into Niagara Falls? I'm confused. Oh, wow. What is this? Oh, green cheek conure. Oh, wow, they've mixed it with a, a lovebird. Peach-faced lovebirds. I have a relative of this. It looks like it, yes, same genus. I have a crimson, I, I have crimson bellied conures. This one here is a green cheek conure. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, I think so. I did not know you could mix lovebirds with green cheeks. Okay, and look at the, look at the cage. They've got little nest boxes. What are they feeding them? Oh, pellets. Interesting. Pellets and a seed mix, it looks like, and fresh fruit. And see, it's got a little description on both kinds. How cute. I actually quite like this cage. Beautiful. OMG, guys, let's go in here. <gasps> let's see. Whoa. Oh, they have more than birds in here. There's a tortoise here. A sulcata. Where? Where's the sulcata? Oh, there it is. Way down there. Oh wait, that's not a sulcata, that's a red-footed tortoise, I think. Oh, it is a red-footed tortoise, okay. See, I know my tortoises. And this here is the sulcata, okay. Oh wait, this is also a red-footed tortoise. Oh, they've, and so is that. They've just mixed them, guys. Cute, look at this bearded dragon. I love, look at his cage. His enclosure is awesome. Love it. We got some toucans here, I believe. Yep, a pair of toucans. It's against the light so you can't see them. Wow, a kookaburra. Sweet. Okay, I hear birds saying hi. Look at this, a bear-eyed cockatoo. Oh, I love this setup here. <gasps> okay, let's go through the birds here. We have a female eclectus. Hi there. Named Cleo. Here's a blue and gold macaw named Jackie. We have a green winged macaw here named Ray. We have an Amazon right there. And oh, two African greys, how cute. Hello. Hello. So these birds apparently were donated. So they've been rescued. Hi. This one looks like it's been plucking. Hi. Hi. This, this Amazon is talkative. Hi! It's <laughs> so cute. It's cool, right? Hi! Hi!
Oh, they're totally free flying. It just flew up there. It really likes us. Did this one say hi too? Hi. Hi. Oh, that was cool. That's awesome. I love it. What's your name? Sarah. So you take care of the birds here. Uh, no, I'm, I'm just one. Oh, I see. There's lots of us. I see. Yeah, so they know your face great. though. Yes, they do for sure. Yeah. Hi, Pepper. This is Pepper. I miss Ligaya, guys. I miss our Ligaya. Ligaisies. I love how they're free flighted. Oh, for sure they are. They love it. Especially Miss Perry. She goes crazy. She never used to learn. She never used to know how to fly. Uh, so when she learned, she got so excited about it. So now we use her as like an ambassador of the other birds. If okay. They're trying to learn how to fly. How old was she when she learned? 25 or 30. Oh my goodness, yeah. so they really can learn later in life. Absolutely. This is Carrie and CJ. So, so Carrie, CJ. Carrie here uh, apparently had arthritis and then they were given to this facility and they treated the arthritis and all of that is new growth. Mm -hmm. <gasps> so good. Yeah, and she learned to fly at age 25, guys. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I always read in the literature that it's harder for birds to learn when they're older, when but they're they older, can. Sure. Oh my gosh, guys, blue jays. Blue jays, be. These are native. <gasps> wow. Is this an albino red-eared slider? How cool. Let's see, where's the label? Yep, albino red-eared slider. Sweet, I love it setup. You like it, be? Yeah, I love the color. I love the color too. I wish we could have blue jays in our aviary. Uh -huh. And they don't destroy plants like parrots do. Guys. The parrot is waving. <laughs> That's so cool. All right, let's go to this next section. Archaeology dig? Wait a sec, are we seeing dinosaurs? Although they do say the birds are descendants of dinosaurs. Okay, so we skipped this area, but this is just a tourist place uh, showing historic items, I guess. Oh, it's like a museum in the history of Niagara Falls. Oh, that's cool. Guys, Instagram photo. So Nika here in Edmark, um, they're also, they live in Philippines. And this is Edmark's first time in Canada. Guys, it's the barrel man. All you Filipinos know what I'm talking about. Okay guys, now we're going to the main aviary. Oh, I'm so excited, Be. We'll get so many inspirations for our home aviary. Okay, this is the small bird aviary. This isn't the main one. No, small bird aviary. Okay, so there's another aviary, there's but another for small jungle. birds. Whoa. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, wow. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, so this is like a free flighted songbird aviary i guess holy uh, oh my gosh look at it. they're so cute there's so many Small oh see these are the kinds bed this is the kind i want to put in the aviary in our house so for those of you who are new our indoor aviary well i say indoor but it's really still outdoor in the middle of our house um will soon be empty we're moving the parrots that are living in there to an outside aviary which is being constructed and I plan on adding a bunch of small songbirds. Oh wait, is that a chestnut munia? What is that? Oh no, some other bird. Wow, they have so many species here in this small bird aviary. Whoa. Oh cute, they've got another turtle in here. Sweet. This is, what is this, a dove? Oh, so cute. Guys, they have so many of these small songbirds everywhere. It's another type of finch. I think that's a Goldian finch. See, these are the birds I want for our indoor aviary. I think this here is a canary. How cute. They've got really small birds everywhere. Guys, look at the size of this alocasia. We have this in our yard. Wow, I love the concept. Just a bunch of like small birds everywhere. I think this is a zebra finch. Hi guys. And they stick together as you can see. Hi. Are you guys afraid of people? Oh, they're, they're not. They're okay. Oh, they've got house sparrows here too. Eura Is that a Eurasian house sparrow or an immature one? I love the branch work they have all around. Wow. 
Oh no, wow, look at these pink ones. It's a type of parakeet. I just don't know what kind. Cool, cool. So what they do is if they introduce new birds in the aviary, they keep them in, this, in a cage at first. So the other birds get to know them and they get to know the other birds. They get to, you know, get used to the space and they don't stress out. And then after they're, they're released into this huge aviary. Oh, how cool. And I love the, I love the big birds they have in here mixed in. Wow, guys, they have a nocturnal section, as in nocturnal birds? Oh no, sugar glider! Oh my gosh, I miss sugar and honey. Okay, so nocturnal animals in this section. Sugar glider. Poison arrow frogs. Oh, poison arrow frogs, I want. <gasps> oh. Was I right? <laughs> yes, see, dendro babies. Oh, you can see inside the sugar gliders. Oh, wow, they're just sleeping right there. It's a trio, how cute. Wow, let's go. Let's see what else. What's in here? Exhibit under construction, okay. Oh, this is a crested gecko. <gasps> I've always wanted one, but I've never seen them for sale in the Philippines. There it is. So cute. Oh. I would love to release a bunch of these in my aviary. Whoa, what is this? Oh, Bird eating tarantula, where? <laughs> It's probably hiding in... Oh, there it is! Inside See? This? Inside the log. See those oh, hairy wow. legs? No way! Yeah. Guys, they have axolotls! We used to have axolotls. Yeah, we used to have. I miss them. Oh, no. oh, there they are. Oh, they're quite fat. I love axolotls. Yeah, we miss ours. We should, kill. No. We should try to look for There's one, yeah. Only thing is, in the Philippines, they need cold water. So you have to keep them in an air-conditioned room. In a room. Wow, the design of this place, guys. Come on, Stars in the sky. Okay, guys, I can't, it's hard to see. What's here? What, what's here? Oh, it's a skunk. Where? Oh, there, way back there. See it? A skunk, how cute. I mean, does it spray? <laughs> There it is. Oh, there's two of them. Hi, guys. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> oh, guys, bats. Where? Oh, wow. Look at them, guys. Holy, the bats are crazy. They're sleeping. Oh, they must be fruit bats because look, they've got fruits here. Egyptian fruit bats. Wow. I love how the fruit bats have like kebabs of fruit. <gasps> All right, guys, the moment we've all been waiting for. The main aviary, finally. Rafa? Okay, Rafa, open the door. See? Oh! <laughs> wow! Whoa! Oh my god, wow! Oh my god! Okay, there's a, a toucan-type bird in here. Up there. But wow, look at this place! You can see the monitor. Oh my goodness, look at all the plants they have. So don't tell me birds are actually flying around and why are they not destroying the plants? Oh wait, okay, this is not a parrot type bird, so it, this is in the pigeon family, I think. And so that wouldn't destroy plants because I want to put pigeons in our aviary. Wow, guys, this is what I dream of for our aviary. Wow, look at the waterfall, amazing. Holy, look at that bird, that's an ibis. Look at that bird, so cool. There are birds everywhere. Wow. Okay, so we're gonna go down because Rafa, my nephew, is gonna be feeding some rainbow lorikeets. How neat. Love it. Whoa. What is that? Oh, that's totally a hyacinth macaw, guys. Wow. But something tells me it doesn't have free fly. And that's why it's not destroying all of these trees here. Unbelievable, the birds. Whoa, is this a hornbill? Got cockatoos. OMG guys, that's a crowned pigeon. I want one of those for the aviary as well. And I know a breeder in the Philippines we could get it from. Look at that bird. Crazy. So cool. The variety. See these ibises? Beautiful birds. Look at the colors. All right guys, we're here for the lorikeet feeding. Um, for those of you who followed our Sydney vlogs in Australia, 
these birds are from Australia and I actually saw them flying around while we were going around the city. Awesome birds. Now they feed um, on a bunch of things but their main diet is nectar. Like they drink a lot of nectar. So a lot of aviaries when they want to do these like um, visitor feedings, they often allow visitors to feed lorikeets because it's easy to get them to land on you if you just have a cup of nectar. Are you excited, Raph? Me too. Oh my gosh, here we go. So we were instructed, hi guys, to line up against the wall, back against the wall, and the birds will come to us. It's waiting to be fed. Wow, they're already landing on him. Oh, these birds are ready. What is that, a nectar? Yes, it's wheat flour and water. Wheat flour and water. Oh. Amazing. What does it feel like? Oh, they're gorgeous. What gorgeous birds. Beautiful. And guys, look at their eyes. These birds have gorgeous red eyes. Do you see that? See those red eyes? Wow. You can see like visitors can come in, they can feed them. They're all over here, they're free flighted. Wow. And as you can see, no plants in here, no trees, nothing like that. Lots of woods and perches for them to land on, but no plants. And the reason I bring that up, guys, is because if you've been following the vlogs, you'll know how long I've been trying to develop our indoor aviary with lots of plants, and our parrots just destroy them. Birds like this with a hook bill, parrots, parakeets, cockatoos, all of that, they are built to destroy things. And that's what we saw in our aviary. They were destroying all of our plants. So we're moving our indoor parrots to an outdoor aviary and moving those small birds that don't really destroy trees and plants as much into our indoor aviary. So cute. These rainbow lorikeets really have the most beautiful plumage. But parrots need things to destroy because, you know, it's kind of like a scratch pole for cats. They just have an instinct to destroy things, so that's why you have to give them lots of cool toys like this that they can shred and chew up. I truly love this aviary. It's amazing. It does look like they have quite a few pigeon species in this aviary. So that's good because I definitely want to add several pigeon species in our indoor aviary as well. See, like there's another one. Another pigeon species, see? Oh, here's another pigeon species. The pigeon family is actually quite extensive and diverse. Oh, cute. Is this a mandarin duck? How cute. And here's that huge bird we saw. Oh, it's so interesting. It kind of looks like a, a vulture. Yeah, the circles on its feathers look cool. Is this a type of pheasant? Here's that ibis enclosure we saw earlier and yet another pigeon holy this place is dominated by pigeons hi there whoa guys remember the ibises we saw in australia i miss them wow this is another pheasant species i believe look at the plumage and it totally doesn't mind me being so close to it wow oh okay guys i just remembered i don't even know how i remember this but I think this is a Nicobar pigeon. Am I correct? I'm sure they list the species of these birds all around, but it's it's kind of hard to like put a sign because the birds are so free roaming, right? So it's hard to kind of put a sign near each bird. Whoa, check out that cockatoo. I think that's a mullican, yeah, that's a mullican cockatoo. For the longest time, I wanted a mullican cockatoo. But they're really, really high maintenance birds. Like parrots are already high maintenance, but cockatoos in particular, they need a special care. They like, first of all, it's easier to keep them in pairs because they need you to be around. If they're a single bird, they cannot be alone very long. Otherwise they pluck, they scream, and they have a bunch of like psychological problems. Guys, look at this. As I said earlier, this here is a crowned pigeon. I definitely want to get this for the indoor aviary. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful. 
It can even be put in an outdoor aviary too with the other parrots, supposedly, according to our zoo friend, zookeeper friend Mario. Oh wow, look at that guys. There's a bird here. I think it's a heron species. Where did it go? There it is. See it? Ah, it disappeared. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that. I think that's a golden pheasant. Oh, I've always wanted a golden pheasant too. Maybe we'll keep it in an outdoor aviary. Or possibly indoor. I don't know, I'll have to do more research. Oh, cute. Look at this cute bird. I think it's a species of heron. I think this is an egret. Is this an egret, guys? I think so. They don't want these birds. Buy it now. No, I can't. I swear guys, if I was a pet hoarder, I would buy all kinds of birds. But our rule at our Mabuhai Spot Farmhouse is if we can provide them the best, most enriching, fulfilling life, we won't take them in. RJ and I are offered animals to adopt animals almost every day. Like we'll get a new message. Hey, can you take in our parrot? Can you take in our dog, our cat? I have six turtles and sadly we can't take them all. But I wish we could. Oh, guys, look how cute sugar gliders. This is brilliant. Look at that. Rainbow lorikeets. You've got sulfur crested cockatoos. You got um, this here's a scarlet macaw. Blue and gold macaw. You've got hyacinth macaw. Peacock. Okay, guys, I gotta get out of here. I'm just gonna keep geeking out, nerding out, and you guys will be so bored. Let's go see the falls. There's my mom, and she brought Pinoy. Yeah, let's go now. Hi, Pinoy. <laughs> Our 14-year-old dog. I don't know. He couldn't come into the aviary for obvious reasons. They don't allow pets, because I'm sure it would spook out the birds. Oh, Pinoy. All right, guys, we're here to finally see the falls. OK, there's Drizzle. We need to get our umbrellas. I usually, I'll, I'll share with you. we usually don't visit when it's raining, so this is kind of new. We brought some umbrellas though. All right. Ben, next time we need to come in the summer. <laughs> so guys, growing up here in Toronto, as a kid, I kind of took the Niagara Falls for granted. Like, it was like, yeah, we're visiting the falls. How boring. But then coming back here as an adult and seeing it again, it's crazy. Guys, look at it. Careful, Nika, don't be flown away with the wind. Whoa, isn't that cool? The wind's strong. Here, I'll grab the umbrella. Yeah, okay. Whoa, oh no. Okay, maybe not. It's okay, it's okay. Don't fly away, OMG. But look at that crazy force of nature, guys. See that? Isn't that crazy? That's wild. Look at the force of that river. Whoa. Mabu High Squad, we have friends here. Hello. What's your name? Adora, I'm from Hawaii. Aloha. You're from Hawaii? Yes. Aloha, welcome Aloha. to Canada. Yes. All right. And because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. Yeah. yeah. I think All right, thank you. Oh my gosh, there's more. Okay, I love your ponchos. Yay, thank you. Guys, look. Look at the power of this water. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Ah. What do you think, cuz? So nice. Crazy, right? It's a thing of beauty. Yeah, look at that. That's crazy. Okay, this is a much warmer and drier way to experience the falls. We're indoors now at a building just next to the river. Look how nice that is. It's crazy. What an incredible force of nature. Right, guys? Now, I recommend if you're going to visit Niagara Falls to come here in the summer because you can... You've seen it in previous vlogs. Like, if you go back to our vlogs in 2019, uh, we took Made of the Mist, it's called. It's like a ferry boat that drives up to the falls. And it's crazy. Really cool way to experience the falls. And FYI, the Canadian side has a better view. So, so pretty. Look at that. Guys, we're eating here at Mandarin. Very popular Chinese buffet chain. Um, 
And this is the Niagara Falls location. There's Maria's family. Maria's my brother's wife, but my brother couldn't make it today. He wasn't feeling well. How's the food? <laughs> the falls? The food. the food. Very good. All right. My boys, but they gave us welcome towels. Okay, guys, so, mm, first of all, chopsticks. Canada chopsticks. <laughs> Gotta get rid of those fibers. Okay. Mm. Sushi. Guys, open, open sashimi. Mm. Mm. Seaweed. Mm. Mm. So good. More sashimi, tuna, or whatever this is. Mm. 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 So good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Guys, the food here at Mandarin, so delicious. It's five Mabuhay stars. Mabuhay spot, I have a friend here. What's your name? No Mandarin. No, what? Norman. <laughs> oh, Norman from yeah. Mandarin. Mandarin. And guys, because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. Yeah. Right. There you go. Alright, nice go. meeting you. Thank, you. Thank you. Guys, it's actually a family reunion. Hi, Tito. Tita Luz. Tito Henry. Hi, Tito Henry. It's a Bustos family reunion. So, on this side, there's Dennis, Hello, Bustos, and oh my gosh, you are so big now, Alexa. I can't, like, she's in grade six, you said? Grade six now! She's a young lady! Time flies. Time flies. Good to see you again. Yeah. Tito Lito, the best garden in the family. So, Edmark and Nika here, their last name is Bustos as well, but we've been calling each other cousin even if we don't know how we're related but our relatives like our ancestors come from the same town in the philippines so for sure we're related we just haven't traced back how but it is cool to see my family the bustos here meeting edmark and nika who we've called family for years now in the philippines there's my tita helen so most of my dad's side grew up here in niagara falls in catherine's area so every time we're in this part of the woods here in Ontario, we we visit them. Okay, we're taking a group shot, guys. Because we're Filipino, we're taking lots of pictures. Yay! Yay! Thanks. Oh boy, squad, we have friends here. What are your names? I'm Gloria. Gloria. Gani. And I'm Tess. Hey. Yes, this is for the YouTube channel. I'll watch that one. I'll watch that one. We love my Thank you. Wait, where are you guys from? I'm from Toronto. Toronto. We're from New York. New York. Oh, we were just from there. We went there. Connecticut. All right. And because we're a fan, we're a big fan. Thank you. Because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. <laughs> guys, another friend here. What's your name? I'm Nikki. Hi, Nikki. I'm with Mike here. Yes, <laughs> because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> okay, one, two. Thank you. Okay. Thanks for your great service okay. here. Thank you, Mikey. Thank Guys, you Guys, you must eat here at Mandarin. Thank you. <laughs> So guys, this here is the Niagara Escarpment. So millions of years ago, a glacier floated through here and cut out this awesome like rift. Like, and the Niagara River runs through it. Guys, this view is amazing. Look at the different colors of the trees. See? All the different colors. It's so nice. Guys, this here is apparently the smallest chapel in the world. <laughs> yeah, stand beside it. See? It's tiny. It's called the Living Water Wayside Chapel. You can sometimes go inside, but it looks like it's locked. 
Oh, no, you can go inside. My Buhai squad, we have friends here. What are your names? Hi, Hi I'm Nai. I'm Kathy. I'm May. I'm Ken. And you're from? Um, so wait, along the boat. Along the boat? Yeah. You're visiting Canada? No, we're right oh. here. Yeah, so where do you live now? Scarborough. Oh, they're from Scarborough, Torontonians. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice you. to see you. And because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. <laughs> All right, guys, we can go in. Everybody get in. Let's see if everyone fits. Whoa. See? How many are we? Small. Oh, yeah. Two, four, six. It fits ten plus the minister. Oh, my gosh. Ed Mark. Pastor. Pastor. Hi. Alright guys, so another day, Maria and my brother are preparing early dinner. Look at the steaks. No, look at the final product. Don't get it. Well, it's cooking. It's oh, okay. okay. Good. And you're putting onions, onions and some kind of spread, guys. I checked the ingredients. A lot of it is natural stuff. It's a wet rub. And a wet rub. Yeah. Yep. We got some... Uh, rosemary, onions, garlic. Oh, at least one of us cooks. I mean, <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't. RJ cooks at our place. That's great. Guys, I'm going to sample the steak. They have one cooked. Look at it. Oh my god. Mm. so good. This one's for you guys. Oh my these, gosh, that's dangerously here. good. RJ, try these. Oh my gosh, mm. mm. slice some for RJ. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's so good. <gasps> oh, it's so good. I need to have another bite with onions this time. Okay, so the rub has sugar in it. It's kind of sweet, but like, that's what is good. it? It's smoky. RJ says it's good, right? What is it? Maple syrup. See, I told you, RJ, we could put maple syrup on stuff. Oh. And it tastes good. It's like a distinct taste. There's mashed potato. OMG. Guys. Mmm. It's like a Cajun, like Tex Mex, like that kind of like flavor. Mmm. Which is perfect because we're flying to Mexico next. Yeah. Mabuhai Squad. This steak of my brothers is five Mabuhai stars. <laughs> One of my brother's secrets well, is. It, I think it's the secret for cooking steak. You just you let you let it rest. Let it you rest have to let it rest, as like as just long as you've cooked it. So I'm letting it rest for like five, six minutes. So not eating it right off the pan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that way all the juices it like gets soaked up back in, and then when you cut oh, it, oh, nice five and minutes. Omg, that's torture. <laughs> yeah. uh, as soon as RJ cooks it, it's done in five minutes. <laughs> I ate it right away. Okay, so you let it sit. Yeah. Oh my gosh, talk about watching paint dry though. Mmm, <gasps> look at that. And then there's sinigang my mom cooked. Mmm, gonna be eating that in a sec. Rafa's okay. just watching it patiently. We can, do, we can do our part. Guys, kids are trick-or-treating. Was that a kid? <gasps> okay, so my mom wrapped every year. She's so extra. She like puts candy in like these baggies and we give these out. And then, yeah, see, so the whole thing here. So if you're giving out candy, you basically have to turn your light on. That's the tradition. And then those who are trick-or-treating will come to your door and ask for candy. And, Raf, can I see your costume? Whoa, what is that? That's scary. Oh. Rafa, you said you had a black hat. There's Maria, also in costume. And Joe? Oh, there's my brother's costume. Oh, wow. Police? police. Is that SWAT team or? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Oh. Look at that. Awesome. So RJ and I are going to stay behind. <laughs> We're going to give candy. <laughs> Enjoy, guys. It's cold out there. It's like one degree. So, yeah. guys, growing up, I was usually always the same thing. I was a vampire. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Like 90% of the time, vampire. I would sometimes go as a devil. Oh, one time I went as Iceman, correct. I forgot about that. I painted my whole, all white, wore white contacts. 
but yeah, mostly vampire. So cute, your little jack-o'-lantern like bucket. Here, I'll bring two. Bye guys. Enjoy trick-or-treating. And now we wait for the kids. There was already one. Why? Why are you sad? Two hours, three hours of waiting. Oh. RJ's impatient. He's like, oh, we gotta sit here for two hours. Well, we could go do stuff. It's only when we hear the doorbell. So, Edmark and Nika flew to San Diego. San Diego. Flew to San Diego. They really enjoyed their time here in Toronto um, and in Montreal. And uh, we'll be meeting them back in the Philippines uh, in a few weeks. But it was so cool to have them be here. And... All right, finally a kid. <laughs> Hello. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Good night. Good night. I can't really film the kids because, you know, out here, you risk a lawsuit. What was the costume? Uh, a hat? Yeah. <laughs> it was Guys, funny. we've been waiting for like an hour and finally that one kid came. Are kids not trick or treating nowadays? We want sugar free candies. Sugar free candies? It's like one degree out there too, so who knows. Finally, another kid. Hello. Hi. Oh, so Hello. cute. Thank you. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. He's so cute. He was just as the It Clown from the movie It. Lots of kids now. Ah, oh, they're all... Wow, they start late. Beth, someone's there. Hello. Hi guys! <laughs> Hold on. There's another one. They're so cute. Happy Halloween. Thank you so much. Good night. Good night. All right. Bye. 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 Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. RJ, you just slammed the door in their face. They're saying thank you to you. What did my mom put in there? Some Humpty Dumpty cheese chips. Bubble gum, lollipop. lollipops, rockets. Okay, there's quite a few stuff in there. We ain't one of those cheap houses that only give one piece of candy. <laughs> Look at us. The 90s. Or no, this was the 80s, I think. Yep, 80s. Look at my brother. <laughs> Look at you. I know. <laughs> he was a lot of trouble at this age. Oh, RJ playing piano. Now Ooh. this I gotta see. I don't know how to play. Go play! No. <laughs> play! No. Just try it! No <laughs> Just try! Just hit the keys! Maybe you might accidentally create a masterpiece. Oh. OMG guys, I've never showed you guys this. This here was our Great Dane mission. He was huge. Huge dog! I miss him, but sadly Great Danes do not live long. Ours lived till like eight years, I believe. They're short-lived dogs because they're of their size. Here are more dogs. So Mission, our Great Dane, was best friends with Pinoy. They were inseparable, honestly. And it was awesome walking them <laughs> because I would have this massive horse-sized dog and then a chihuahua. <laughs> it was hilarious to walk them both. But they were so bonded, guys, like, it was crazy, inseparable, like literally. And this giant dog was so gentle around Pinoy. See, he knew just the right amount of like strength to use when playing with Pinoy. Never hurt him at all. He was such a gentle giant. Now this here was our third dog, Kuya, who's a Jack Russell Terrier. Love this breed. Um, they're very, Energetic, probably the most energetic dog I've ever had. Um, and I mean, I would love to have a Jack Russell Terrier one day. We'll see. They make great outdoor dogs. Kuya used to swim. He would play nonstop for hours. It was just, he was such a good all-terrain dog. But sadly, Mission and Kuya have passed away. And Pinoy is all that's left. See that? Isn't that sweet? So this is a, all my cousins from a long time ago. There's Richelle, who's now the nurse and owner of Enriched Med Spa, right? You guys met her. Um, there's my brother, there's my cousin RJ. 
But if you look at the back, you'll see a terrarium that I made. You see, I was making terrariums, for those of you who follow the Ants Canada channel. I've been doing terrariums literally since the 90s. Um, it was just my thing. And this terrarium had so many different terrestrial species in it. It had various lizards as well, and oh, that was such a cool tank. I must have been 12 or 13 when I created this. Oh, here's another picture of me with Mission. <laughs> See how big he was? After Canadian Idol, my very first paycheck that I made from a performance, I used to buy Mission. <laughs> That's when we bought him. OMG, you guys will not believe what I just found. Okay, so this is from year 2000, 2001. It was called the Town West Singing Competition. And I came first. Let me tell you about this story. So in first year university, um, I went to University of Guelph. Um, I was studying zoology, but then I stopped school after that. But when I was in residence, right, living there, um, I needed money. I didn't have it. <laughs> so... Uh, I joined a singing contest because I saw a posting for a singing contest. I'm like, yay. And there was, I, there was supposed to be prize money. And so I was excited. I joined it. And then lo and behold, I came first. Um, but there was no prize money. Instead, I got like a, a cell phone, some speakers. And I went on to compete against 10 other universities um, in another town, Waterloo. And... Um, I'm like, yay, okay, maybe there'll be prize money for that. And when I went there, guess who came first? Out of all those universities, the champions of each university, and their busloads of like, you know, supporters from those schools. My university, I had like a little tiny, like five people cheering me on from my university. But all these other schools had busloads of people cheering them on, uh, you know, from their school. Uh, but in the end, I came first. I... I won, I beat all of them, um, and I won all these prizes again, but again, no prize money. But here's the thing, guys. On that night, that was when I decided, you know what? I'm born to be an entertainer. I'm gonna stop school. I don't wanna be a veterinarian um, because it just wasn't my calling. And so it was that night, guys, that I decided that I would pursue entertainment and like take the huge risk and you know, tell my mom, mommy, Sorry, I'm not going to be an animal doctor. I'm going to be an entertainer. Well, a singer. Same thing. And then, lo and behold, two or three years later, Canadian Idol happened. And I placed eighth in that. And yeah, that began a whole journey working in entertainment business. All right, more kids. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> A Thank little you. princess with a like a winter jacket on. It's cold out there. I mean, we still have a lot of packages to give away. All right, more people. Let's see. Oops. Trigger trade. Ah, Jason. Cool. Nice. Michael. Hi. Michael. Oh, Michael. Oh yeah, you're not. Oh yeah, you're Mike. Mike Myers. Yeah. Oops. Sorry. See ya. Oh my gosh. I'm like, oh, it's Jason. He's like, no, I'm Michael. Oops, I got my horror movies mixed up. <laughs> okay guys, so we've been waiting here for the past two hours and I think only like seven kids came in total. I remember back in the day, like there were tons of kids, like nonstop, just a whole constant line of kids and you were rarely resting. But my dad says that these past 10 years, it's been like this, like less kids. I wonder why that is. Do you guys know? Ew, how was it? Let's see your candy. Oh, there's... Holy! <laughs> oh, wow! That was for you, Mike. <laughs> oh. Wow, guys! Whoa! Look at all that! Amazing! Good morning, Mabuhai Squad. How you doing? Did you sleep well? So, guys, we're here at the airport and uh, checking in our bags because we are heading to Mexico. Yes! With my mom, my dad, and RJ. This should be a lot of fun, guys. Um, but for all of you who are watching this vlog, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate the support. It means a lot to me, guys, that you guys have been joining us on this crazy journey of life. 
Um, I can't wait to explore Mexico. So if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit the like button as it really helps us a lot to let YouTube know that our vlogs are worth sharing to new audiences. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Come join our Mabuhay squad because we will be your regular dose of positive vibes online. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. We'll be in Mexico. Bye. Mm.